Hi there. My name is Morgan DeLong, and I am a graduate of the Fred D. Gray Institute for Law, Justice, and Society, and I have the special privilege of now getting to work for the program. It brings me so much joy to be able to talk about Mr. Fred Gray and his incredible life and how much he's inspired me, how much he's taught me about hope and the pursuit of justice. It is really exciting that we're getting to celebrate Fred's 90th birthday coming up on December 14th. When I think about Fred, uh, I think a lot of things. One of the first is what a brilliant lawyer he is. He has represented Rosa Parks, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the Montgomery Bus Boycott, the Tuskegee Syphilis Study, desegregating Alabama schools, and so many other landmark cases that have uh, brought about justice and equality. I think of a man who has worked tirelessly throughout his entire life to destroy everything segregated. He has never stopped in the pursuit of that. Um, when all the odds were stacked against him, when he lost cases, when everyone told him, don't even try, Fred has continued to move forward in the pursuit of justice and in the pursuit of destroying everything segregated. Another thing I think about when I think of Mr. Gray is one of my most treasured memories uh, from being a student when a group of fellow classmates and I uh, were able to travel to Tuskegee, Alabama, Fred's hometown, um, over spring break where we had the opportunity um, to work with Mr. Gray's um, Tuskegee History Center and help process some of uh, Mr. Gray's papers for archiving. Uh, it was such a uh, special experience to get to see Fred um, in his law firm where he still practices law, to see him interact with uh, his neighbors and friends and to see um, the city where Fred has done so much good and where he has um, brought about such good and faithful change. Really though, one of the, the most special pieces of, of that trip was uh, the opportunity to hear Mr. Anthony Lee, who was the lead uh, plaintiff in the case um, that, that Fred uh, brought to the court that ended up uh, desegregating Alabama schools. Seeing and hearing from someone who uh, was so directly impacted by Mr. Gray's work left an immense impression on me. Um, and I sat there just in awe of Fred, thinking of the thousands upon thousands upon thousands of lives that he has impacted through his work to desegregate everything and to bring about um, equity and justice for everyone under the law. His life and his work have meant a great deal to me and shaped how I see the legal profession and how I understand going about making good and faithful change. Fred has modeled that practicing law can be an act of hope, uh, that you must speak up in the face of injustice, especially when others are being silent, and that the work of justice is hardly ever easy but it's always worthwhile. He's the very reason I want to be an attorney. It's Mr. Gray's hope though, that I think has taught me the most and has inspired me the most. It's what I come back to on hard days. Um, it's what I come back to when I think about, you know, what is our purpose? What are we supposed to do? I think about Mr. Gray's hope. Um, he had a hope that dared to admit not everything is as it should be, and he worked so tirelessly in the pursuit of something better, of equality, and the special thing is he still does that today. He's never given up on that hope. It's never changed. It's um, remained strong and faithful. He carries that hope still today that dares to admit we've come a long way, but we have a long way to go. He invites us all, though, to participate in the work of justice, in the work of equality, and in the work of reconciliation. I am so deeply, deeply grateful for um, 
Mr. Gray, for Lipscomb's relationship with Mr. Gray, that um, we have had the incredible gift to have proximity to him, to a man um, who has lived such a remarkable life in service of others and in service of the common good and in service of the pursuit of justice. It is such a gift to learn from him, to learn from his life, and um, to be invited into that pursuit of justice. So join me in wishing Mr. Gray happy 90th birthday.